Boise State went 9-4 and, and ended last season on a high note with a big bowl game victory. But spring football is now in full swing and it's time to evaluate the 2016 version of the Broncos. Welcome to Inside Out with Bass Pro Shops. I am Shay Pepler, and joining me is Boise State head football coach Brian Harson. And coach, now is the time of the year we start discussing starting quarterbacks. Ryan Finley will transfer after he graduates in May, so Brett Rippon is still slated as your starter with Tommy Stewart backing him up. How have those two signal callers progressed this spring? Uh, I think Coach Hill, our new quarterback coach, co-offensive coordinator, has done a really good job with those guys. Uh, Brett has had a really good spring. He's stronger, he's more knowledgeable, and I've really seen him each and every day go out there, execute, and, and do it uh, on a consistent basis. Tommy Stewart, I feel like, has had a really good spring. Um, has made strides in a lot of areas. Tommy's a little bit different in his style, uh, really plays that well, and has been a really good leader. You know, as an older guy that has experience playing, I think has really helped lead this team. Well, I read you will begin calling plays this season. Why the change and how will it affect your style of play? I don't think it'll change our style of play. We're obviously every year trying to, to recreate uh, and go back and rebuild what we do, look at it, see if that's the best thing that we want to have moving forward, add a few new ideas in. Uh, so we'll be a little bit different. As far as the play calling, Again, it goes back to our philosophy here. The entire staff really helps put the game plan together. We all teach in our units and make sure they're prepared as we come out to practice and for the game. Uh, so the entirely the offensive staff is putting the game plan together. As far as calling plays, uh, I'll be the one doing it with the input of the staff. I'm excited about doing it, looking forward to it. Uh, excited about what we're doing offensively and where we're going and, uh, and the progress we've made. And, you know, how far can we go as we get through the summer and into fall camp to be determined, but uh, really like the way the staff is working together. Let's go off the football field now, Coach. Being there in Boise, plenty to do outdoors. How do you like to spend your time outside? Here in the spring, the weather's beautiful. Uh, so I think everybody on this team, staff, and this community is outside as much as possible. Boise's a beautiful place. There's so many things to do. Uh, one of my favorite and family favorite is to get out. Uh, there's a lake about 15 minutes from here. And so we'll get out on the boat and we're going to go surfing. Uh, we're going to go wakeboarding and really just being out there um, in this beautiful weather in the summertime and having a whole lot of fun. And there's so many things to do. We enjoy that. But uh, that, that's our favorite. OK, Coach, I hear you've mixed football and the sights of Boise with a hike with your football team. How did that work out? We have uh, a place called Table Rock, uh, which is about a 15 minute drive from the university and about a half hour to 45 minute walk uphill as you get to the top, uh, why it's called Table Rock. There's a rock, big large rock on top and you're able to look out into the valley and see it. Uh, and that's something that we did in fall camp and it was kind of the, the end of it uh, for a chance for the team to get out there. Not everybody's been up there. Uh, you can see it from the stadium. Uh, you know where it's at, but to get them out there and get a chance to really see what they're a part of, not just in football, but this community. And I think our guys appreciate that. So uh, that's just another advantage of living in Boise, Idaho, is being able to do things like that. I also hear car racing is a hobby, quite the risk taker. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, you know, I, I did do that for a while and still uh, enjoy uh, drag racing and really grew up. That was part of my background and my family's background was in drag racing. I uh, was kind of headed that direction and really got into coaching and really enjoyed that, but has always, always had a passion for it. Uh, and so much I think that I've learned through that with the detail, the preparation, all that really applies back to what we do in football and how we operate. And so those two sports to me are very similar and uh, always enjoy watching it. Any close calls or wrecks? No, I'm actually a good driver. So I, I've driven the car and uh, have had a lot of success with it, really enjoyed it. But I also remember it wasn't my car, it was my dad. So I wanted to make sure that I handed it back to him in one piece. And uh, he always appreciated that. So very cautious when it came to making sure that uh, that car was taken care of. Coach Harson, thanks so much for the time. All right, thank you and go Broncos. And that'll do it for Inside Out by Bass Pro Shops. Your adventure starts here.